we can see thousands of students and their parents are protesting against the discriminatory results being published by CIE. This protest is not only from our country Bangladesh, but students and families all across Pakistan, Malaysia and even UK are also raising their voices against it. But students from England and Scotland can say to be on safe sides now as Scotland reviewed the results while the government of England gave students a choice of a free retake if they want to. Even in Pakistan, the Minister for Federal Education Shafkat Mahmood tweeted that he has taken up the matter with CIE. International students have been treated differently. In some cases, we see students with A-star expected grades ended up receiving F grades from CIE. Even if for a second, we, the students, admit that the CI grading system is undoubtedly perfect and we accept it and move on. But what's next? Students with C and D grades in many of their O and A level subjects may fail to get admitted in prestigious universities in Bangladesh like DU or Buet or even at private universities. They may also fail to meet the minimum eligibility criteria at universities abroad. People who are telling these students to let bygones be bygones and focus on their next level. I want to ask them on what basis you are reassuring these students that these grades won't matter. If by any chance they get stuck due to this in their careers, then would they again start from the very beginning? That's impossible. Moreover, this pandemic has already turned everyone's life upside down. On top of it, the CI results had added extra stress, anxiety and depression among many families. During the COVID-19 outbreak, some students tested COVID-19 positive and some also lost their loved ones. In such a situation, many hoped that the results might help to ease their distress during this pandemic as all expected fair grades. But no. Even if students decide to give a retake, then how many do you think would be able to bear that burden? We all know in this pandemic, many families lost their incomes making it impossible for them to bear such an expensive registration again. Each subject costs above 10k, which is a very big amount. Students now seem to compromise their careers as well. For example, a student who wished to become a doctor received a C in A-level biology and got an A or A star in physics or maths. She then needs to change her direction from medical towards engineering. That means giving up on our dreams. Private candidates did not get any results this year, whereas they have been asked to sit for the October-November session when the pandemic settles down. But if the pandemic doesn't end by October-November, private candidates must wait for the next sessions. How long is this to be continued? After results were being published, students with poor grades seem to interact less with their families and friends out of shame or fear as they did not get their desired marks. In this pandemic, we are already living in isolation and this discrimination by CIE has somehow increased it. On Tuesday, 18th August, that is tomorrow, CI is going to announce an update which we all hope and pray goes in favor of the disadvantaged ones. See you on the next video.